Hi, welcome to this tutorial on thermodynamics. I'm just going to briefly explain the terms exothermic and endothermic reactions. So I've got this diagram here from a previous tutorial on uh, adiabatic uh, terminology and stuff like that. So if we look at a closed system, a closed system here where only heat can get in and out, but the, the matter itself, the molecules or solvents or whatever we're interested in can't escape, which is a typical uh, reaction flask really um, then if a reaction takes place inside this vessel here within that square and we've got the temperature uh, we've got thermometer sorry there then if heat is released to the environment energy is released from the system as heat then that is called an exothermic reaction so exo meaning on the outside so um, heat has been lost to the outside, to the surroundings. If, on the other hand, um, we have a, a process where um, heat is transferred into the reaction, so that can be two ways. We either need to add heat to the reaction in order for something to happen, like a dissolution of a compound, or it could be uh, a crystallization where rather than heat being given out, uh, energy is, is taken in from the surroundings so you get this rapid cooling of the solution so heat comes in to make it isothermal. So exothermic reactions, heat is given out, energy is lost uh, from the system and endothermic reaction, energy is taken from the environment, from the surroundings into the system. So um, energy uh, as heat goes into the system. And that's basically exothermic and endothermic reactions. Bye for now.